Aloha beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Cami. Today's video I'm going to be sharing three new fragrances that I've added to my collection. I'm so excited. I love perfume. Um, I keep telling myself girl you you good. You good. But the perfume love inside of me just keeps saying oh, there's something else out there for you Cami. There's something else out there. Three new fragrances I'm going to be sharing. These first two I purchased from Fragrance Net. It's the Coach Dreams. This is the original OG. You guys know I have the Sunset and I talked all about that one. And I'll leave the link for that video down below. And then I have a beautiful Burberry Brit Sheer. Love this fragrance. It is beautiful, y'all, but this one does not last long. I'm just gonna put that out there. It does not last long. I'm not gonna lie to you. This lasts for 40 minutes and then it just disappears. And it's not even a skin scent after that. It literally just disappears. So I will say that I would not pay full price for this. I didn't. Um, I got this for $35 off of fragrance scent. Honestly, it's, it's not even worth that. I'm just being completely honest. But I really loved it when I smelt it at Macy's. It retails for $100 at Macy's. And I was just like, mm, let me see if I can get it for cheaper. So uh, Fragrance Net is definitely the place to go to get this, or if, or if you can go to Marshalls, TJ Maxx, um, and find it for cheaper. I wouldn't pay more than $40 for this, honestly. Anyways, uh, the bottle's adorable. You know you have that Burberry um, print going on, so that is that. Pink Sheer, very beautiful bottle. I love pink bottles. Um, the main accords in this perfume is floral, fresh, fruity, citrus, sweet, tropical, rose, musky, green. So tropical and these main accords, I do get that from this perfume. It's not like a beachy tropical. It's just like, it gives you like sitting at the bar type of tropical. Not that I go to the bar or anything, but um, the top nose is lychee, lychee, or however you pronounce it. Yuzu, pineapple leaf, mandarin orange. Middle nose is pink peony. I love peony perfumes. Peach blossom and pear. And the base notes in this is white musk and white woods. So you guys, this right here um, resembles my Versace Bright Crystal. Um, it does have that yuzu note in there. And of course the peony and the musk. This opens up very fruity with that uh, pineapple and um, what else is in there? Pineapple and the lychee. That's what I'll... I would, you know, you have to let this dry down for a good minute before going in and sniffing it because this one is very heavy on the alcohol in the opening. Um, so I, you know, I suggest letting it dry down for a good minute or so before going in. But this opens up very bright and crisp with that pineapple leaf, with the lychee, that mandarin orange, you can get a bit of that as well. As it begins to dry down, you do get that pear and then you get that pink peony and then when it completely dries down all of it comes together in a beautiful pineapple lychee peony musk so, so this is a fruity floral musky perfume um the main fruit notes that i get from this is the lychee and the pineapple leaf um so i absolutely love this fragrance it smells amazing but the only downfall to this is that it does not last long at all so i highly suggest going to fragrance net or any other site that offers this for less than $40, honey. TJ Maxx, Marshalls, wherever, just don't pay full price for that. The next perfume, you guys, is Coach Dreams. This one right here is so, so strong, y'all. So, so strong. I absolutely love it. I'm just gonna go ahead and spray it without even talking about the main accord. White floral, fruity, green, citrus, sweet, lactonic, woody, amber fresh and musky the top notes in this perfume is pear bitter orange fruits don't know what fruits it just says fruits <laughs> the middle notes is gardenia and cactus flower and the base notes is ambroxan and woody no woody notes so i'm not a big woody fan um at the moment I i've really been into musky perfumes but I guess the ambroxan kind of resembles the, the musky note because when this dries down, this is this is definitely something different in my collection. This right here, I really enjoy this one. Um, my husband thinks it smells kind of like old lady-ish, but 
I consider this to be like a little bit for, you know, mature women. I don't see anyone in high school wearing this perfume. Now, I'm sorry, this one right here, I will wear this to like a grocery store um, or to the park or to see my mom and dad if they lived here or to see my grandparents, you know, somewhere where I'm going to see someone for like an hour or if, if I'm going to be somewhere like at the grocery store for 30 minutes or so, this is a great wear. This, like I said, lasts for about 40 minutes and then literally it's not even a skin scent after that. It just disappears. So no matter how much you stick your nose into your skin, you're not going to smell this because it's just going to disappear. So that's why I said I wouldn't pay full price for this, but it's still a very beautiful scent. I mean, you can still smell it, but it's not like maybe if you walk past someone, they may smell it. I don't know. My husband says... He still smelled it on me when I was wearing it. He hugged me and he said he smelled it and I smell good. So I just can't smell it on myself. So I'm so used to powerhouse perfumes that this one right here is just so light and sheer. Hence the name Burberry Brit Sheer. So yeah, I would wear this to like the park, to the grocery store, you know. But this one right here, this is a great day night um, perfume. Um, I feel like this is a great evening one or even a church or something like that where to a I wouldn't wear this to a interview it's a little bit too strong it's a little bit too like mm, I don't want to say cloying but it is cloying so I wouldn't wear this to a business interview or anything like that but this is a nice one um I would say date night if anything this is a very great date night fragrance that gardenia in this one smells amazing I've been looking for a gardenia perfume and this one hits hits it on the mark for me. I really enjoy this one. This is a nice, um, let me see, fruity, gardenia, um, woody, light musk. Even though musk isn't in here, I think it's in the main accords. Is it in the main accords? Yeah. Okay, so fruity, gardenia, musk, woody. So that's what I get from this. If you're looking for something different, definitely try out Coach Dreams. All right, you guys. So last but not least, the last perfume that I'm going to be talking about today was gifted to me by my honey boo. It is the Tiffany and Love. I adore this package. And this is my first Tiffany perfume. He gifted this to me, you guys. And I wanted to gift him the Tiffany and Love for him. But the male perfume version of this is just, it's not hitting on anything. So I ended up getting him the Versace Euros Flame. That one smells amazing. And if you get it right now, um, they do have a special where you get the backpack. So $102 deal, so amazing. Anyways, uh, Tiffany Love, this one right here, y'all. Oh, just get into the bottle. I just adore Tiffany products. like. Look at that. Oh my gosh. The only Tiffany thing I have possessed in my possession is this ring that my grandmother left for me. It's not focusing. Anyways, this is a Tiffany and Company ring. Um, I guess my grandmother never took it off. And my uh, grandfather um, said that she would have wanted me to have it. So I never take this off. Anyway, so this right here is Tiffany and Company. Tiffany and Co. They scratch out the Co. and said Tiffany and Love for her. Sorry, y'all. The main accords in this perfume is citrus, fresh, spicy, aromatic, witty, green, white, floral, and fresh. This one is a fresh one for sure. <laughs> the top notes in this perfume is grapefruit and basil. That's different. Middle notes is neroli. And the base notes is cedar, vetiver, and sequoia. So this one doesn't have any musk in it, which I'm kind of, not upset, but I'm kind of sad because I really wanted this to be a nice musk. But this one is a nice freshy. I highly, highly, highly recommend this one. This one smells amazing. This one does not project well. The only downfall about this one is that it does not project well. The only way you can get a nice projection is if you spray very, very, very heavily, which I already do, but I have to spray a little bit more with this one. Um, this is a Eau de Parfum. The, man, the male version is a Eau de Toilette. And um, 
but this one right this one smells very very nice very very nice i've been wearing this to bed lately this is a nice freshie so um as far as like if you're looking for a nice beautiful fresh fragrance something like with a burst of citrus and a little hints of wood that basil in here is very very beautiful oh my goodness i've never had any anything in my perfume collection with basil but this one plays very very well so this is a nice um leafy or well not leafy earthy floral that neroli you can smell the neroli cedar fresh airy beautiful for the summertime i don't i don't see myself wearing this during the winter months i'll try it just to see if it'll project but the last time i wore like a airy aquatic my aqua Giorgio armani in the winter it didn't it didn't work well so i don't know how this is going to work but i'll try it but right now in this hot summer heat this works perfectly i've got it i've gotten a compliment on this um so i know that you know girl this smells good this smells good and as you can see like i literally got it a week ago and i put a dent in it because i feel like i have to spray heavy and then this itemizer has like the same mist as the burberry her perfume that i have which i absolutely love but yeah this one right here is a nice fresh aquatic woody um earthy perfume i suggest this one highly not highly suggested but if you're looking for it to give something to your girlfriend or, or wife whatever give the tiffany and love for her i don't suggest the, the for him one that one just it doesn't last it doesn't project it doesn't do nothing so don't waste your money this one right here it retails for 138 dollars for the full size so it is pretty pricey but this one was a gift so Anyways, you guys, those are all of my perfumes that are added to my collection. I'm so grateful and thankful that I'm able to, you know, expand my collection and not have to worry about, you know, anything. But, y'all, that is a blessing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any of these perfumes, let me know what you love about them. Um, or if you don't love them, let me know what you dislike. I know some, most people know that this Burberry Brit Sheer doesn't last long, so I completely understand. But anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in my next video. And I hope you all have a very blessed rest of the week in Jesus' name. Bye.